Valve timing affects an engine's consumption, torque, performance, and thus its compliance with exhaust emission regulations. Therefore, the valve timing must be adjusted as accurately as possible. Maximum accuracy is achieved by using the VES 611007. Initially, it will be used within the EA211 engine family from the 1.5-litre TSI EVO engine up. Later, it will also be applied to the 1.4-litre TSI engine. Further engines from this engine family will follow suit. Before checking or adjusting the valve timing, the VES 611007 needs to be pre-assembled. Start with the adapters for the angle sensors, following the colour coding on the parts. The inlet camshaft side is marked in blue, while the exhaust camshaft side is marked in red. Make sure the brakes for fixing the camshafts are released and insert the adapters to the stop. Fix the adapters for the angle sensors using the clamp fittings. The angle sensors are now fully assembled. Insert the angle sensors into the camshaft housing adapter. For 1.4-litre TSI engines, different adapters are used for the camshaft housing and angle sensors. Next, screw in the lock ring with matching colour by about two turns. Next, calibrate the VAS 611007. Connect the supplied data carrier to the diagnosis tester and open the program. Connect the VAS 611007 via the USB cable and establish a connection between the VAS 611007 and the diagnosis tester. Here, the same colour coding is used. Blue for the inlet camshaft, red for the exhaust camshaft. Now calibrate the VAS 611007. To do so, rotate the adapter of one angle sensor until OK appears on the display. Repeat this procedure with the other adapter. When the adapters are fully calibrated, the following options will appear on the display. Select Measure. The two angle sensors must be set to almost zero degrees. Make sure the brakes on the angle sensors are released. An audio signal and the control display will help. Green means the brakes are released. Yellow means they are applied. And red means the brakes are locked. Now check or adjust the valve timing. Before checking the valve timing, drain the coolant and expose the camshafts on the coolant pump side as described in the workshop manual. Since the first cylinder is almost in TDC position, remove the locking bolt from the crankshaft housing and insert the securing bolt instead.
turn the crankshaft in the direction of engine rotation until it stops at the first cylinder's TDC position. For correct measurement, the camshafts must not be damaged. Attach the adapters to the camshaft until stop. Make sure the hexagon socket head bolts are loosened. Pay attention to the color coding. The red adapter is attached to the exhaust camshaft, the blue one to the inlet camshaft. Secure the two adapters with the hexagon socket head bolts. To attach the tool to the camshaft adapters, it's necessary to align the adapters of the angle sensors manually. So they precisely fit the camshaft adapters. Next, mount the VAS 611007 and alternately tighten the knurled screws. The adapter must be fitted flush with the camshaft housing. Uniformly tighten the lock rings. Do not tighten them too firmly to ensure the adapter does not lift off and is still fitting flush. Remove the securing bolt. and rotate the crankshaft by about two turns in the direction of engine rotation. Screw in the securing bolt again. And reposition the first cylinder in the top dead center. The measured values will appear on the display. The nominal values are listed in the current workshop manual for checking. In this case, the values are not within the set value range. The valve timing must be adjusted. Using the VAS 611-007, it's possible to precisely adjust the valve timing electronically. Prepare the VAS 611007 as described in the chapter Checking the Valve Timing. Next, expose the camshaft pulleys as described in the workshop manual. Loosen the valve for the camshaft adjustment. Replace the bolt for the exhaust camshaft adjuster. Without screwing it tight. Make sure the first cylinder is still in TDC position. Use sealing plugs to prevent oil leakage. Set the two camshafts to zero degrees by turning the adapters of the angle sensors. At the same time, tighten the two brakes at the angle sensors. In this way, the camshafts are kept in position. Next, 
Remove the securing bolt at the crankshaft. Remove the sealing plugs before tightening the adjusters. Proceed as described in the workshop manual. To further proceed, release the brakes on the VES 611007. Next, determine the correction angle. But what is the correction angle? When the brakes are released, this will cause the valve springs to push the cams in one direction. How far they are pushed depends on the construction tolerances. This is why you must set the valve timing for each camshaft individually. This deviation from the nominal value must be taken into account when adjusting the valve timing. It is known as the correction angle. The securing bolt is still loosened. To determine the correction angle, rotate the engine by about two turns in the direction of engine rotation. Screw in the securing bolt again and position the crankshaft in TDC. Note down the measured values. In this case, it comes to plus 3.5 degrees for the inlet camshaft. However, the nominal value is plus 0 0.5 degrees. The next step is to determine the difference in value for correction. In this case, the difference is 3.0. But is it positive or negative? Let's take a vertical number line to explain. The measured value is the starting point. To get to the nominal value, we have to move downwards in the negative direction. That's why the differential value is marked with a minus sign, minus 3.0 degrees. The measured value at the exhaust camshaft is minus 1.0 degrees. The nominal value is plus 1.5 degrees. The difference in value is 2.5 degrees. But is it positive or negative? This time, to get from the measured value to the nominal value, we have to move from bottom to top, thus in the positive direction. The differential value is therefore marked with a plus sign. The result is plus 2.5 degrees. So the result for the inlet camshaft is minus 3.0 degrees, while the result for the exhaust camshaft is plus 2.5 degrees. Next, follow the workshop manual to set the correction angles as calculated. Fix the pulleys as specified in the workshop manual. Release the brakes and repeat the valve timing check. When you have set the values correctly, fully fix the camshafts and reassemble the engine as described in the workshop manual. Exact value timing lets the engine perform to its full potential.